Welcome back to Photoshop Training Essentials. In this video I'd like to go over some layer basics. Working with the layers panel in Photoshop is one of the basic essentials we cannot do without. The layers panel has many controls and features that are easy to learn. First, there are a number of different kinds of layers and you can see in this document we start off with one um, in this one, there are all kinds of different layers that you'll see in the Layers panel. Some of these we'll learn more in depth in later Photoshop tu tutorials. Um, the base layer, whenever we open a document, okay, the basic layer that we get is called the background and uh, it's locked as a d default. We can unlock it, but basically having it locked we cannot move the pixels. So if I were to use the Move tool, then I'm not going to be moving it and Photoshop is going to complain. Uh, could not use the Move tool because the layer is locked. Yeah, okay, great. So let's go ahead and unlock it. So if I go to um, the lock and I just click on it, guess what? It allows me to do anything I want to this layer, including, let's click and drag, moving it. Awesome. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but in, in any case, um, we're able to do that. Okay, let's take a look at this one with lots and lots of um, layers in it. So each layer is like a flat grid of pixels, and the layers can stack on one another like pieces of flat paper. So you can see here there, um, these layers are stacked all one on each other. They're um, visible like in a stack. So the bottom layer uh, is at the bottom actually and so these other layers on top they affect the layers underneath. Okay let's go back and um, uh, regular pixel layers like for instance the bottom layer um, is basically the picture itself, the base picture. And it can contain an image. It can contain um, some color. It can uh, contain uh, pixels that we can fill with color or a gradient color or partially selected pixels um, such as something like this, par partially selected pixels. Okay, So if we have a little bit of something with a, um, a window in it, or we have um, kind of a see-through look to it, uh, we can have translucent pixels um, on a layer. Okay, um, a layer can also be um, transparent, so if I were to add a, um, a, a layer, okay, it can be blank, so if I turn um, the visibility off, then I have a layer that essentially there's nothing on it. Okay. And let me bring this up just a little bit because we need to see some things here. Um, other layer types, let's turn these back on so we can see them. So other layer types, um, shape layers. So this could be a shape like a rectangle as in um, I've drawn here. And it was drawn with vector lines, so that's a shape layer. And um, adjustment layers, which again, we'll, some of these are more advanced and we'll take a look at them in later tutorials, but I wanted you to kind of see these here. Um, we also have adjustment layers, okay, like as in something that we color correct, that's what this one um, here is about. Um, layers can also have a mask added to them, and this is actually a mask shown in this layer. You'll learn how to uh, work with that. Uh, we can also have um, special effects added to a layer. Okay, And um, last but not least, there are um, text type of layers, and so those control live um, text that we can actually uh, type something else in. So, for instance, this um, word flying, and each 
is a separate layer. Um, we can control its um, text separately. So if I click on this flying here, highlight it with the text tool, we'll learn a little more about that later, but I can um, change this to something else. Fly fly tigers. Well, that doesn't look all that great, but yes, we can edit that in other words. Okay, each panel, each of the um, parts of the layers panel, I'm going to bring the layers panel out here so we can um, see it a little bit more uh, clearly. So each panel that we work with in Photoshop or in any Adobe product has its own flyout menu. You'll see in the top right hand corner Okay, if I zoom in here to take a look at that little thing, we click on it, yeah, it gives us a little menu. Every panel we use um, just about has that flyout menu. So when I say flyout menu, those commands have something to do with usually uh, making something new or deleting something or du duplicating something. Uh, but it has to do with the controls in that have to do with that particular panel. So these menus actually change depending on the panel. And um, then in the layers panel, though, uh, it has uh, some ways of controlling styles. It has a way of to flatten or merge our image together, flatten those files, uh, those layers together. And there are a bunch of other things that we can uh, do with uh, the layers, and we'll learn those as we go along. Okay. Other parts of the panel, um, we're able to, if we have lots of layers, which sometimes we do have a lot of layers, we can, with these little icons up at the top, pick what kind of layer. So if I'm only looking for a particular kind, like, for instance, my type or my text, that I can show only text and I don't have to turn through all of the different types of layers and all the layers that I have basically. Okay, to turn that feature off, click it again. Okay. Um, we also are able to change something called a blend, uh, blending mode here. Um, currently I have the particular layer that I'm working with, this flying uh, one is called color burn. There are a number of different blending modes and the blending mode makes it so that this layer that I blend can mix with whatever it is underneath in a very unique way. Okay. Uh, we also have um, opacity capabilities to bring that up or down so we can see through it more or less. Okay. Um, and we also have um, where we can do different things depending on what's available to that particular layer. As I change the, the different layers, um, here I could lock the layer, I could move the layer, and things like that. I can lock that um, position that it's in, um, lock the image pixels, because sometimes I don't want to affect the pixels accidentally. So I might do that, and it really depends on what type of um, layer that, that we're talking about here as to if I can lock it in some way. Um, I can also lock the fact that this is transparent. Okay, so I turn that on and the little lock icon becomes available. I can turn those on and off. Okay, and um, also in the left hand side of our layers we can turn on and off the visibility of each and every item if we want to, to get them out of the way and so that we can concentrate on particular areas of um, our uh, image here. So this is the base layer with everything else turned off as far as visibility, but it doesn't mean I've thrown those away. It just means they're not visible at this time. Okay. So a uh, quick way to get a lot of them on and off, if you click and drag down, okay, turn them all back on. Okay, my little trick up my sleeve. Okay. Last but not least, we can move the stacking order of these layers. If you click and drag a layer, I can put one thing on top of another. Okay. So that made it so that the um, it looks like the matte. 
finish on the outer edges is put, pushed to the top or towards the top, click and drag and push it um, on top of another and it will um, uh, change the stacking order. That's actually what we do with um, arrange. There's a, so there's another command for um, arranging these, but basically we're able to move these about in different order. Okay, so that can change how um, our image appears. And that's it for um, basic layers, and um, we can make a, a lot of use out of this in subsequent tutorials.